I'm Shigeo Ijui. I'm a torture sommelier. I help people get true justice. This world was full of evil. I'm running late. Ah, uh, look at her. She's pretty. People like him? They hurt the innocent without thinking twice. <laughs> Shut up, will you dare? I'm serious. Stay still. All they cared about was themselves. And the loved ones of the victims? This animal violated my fiance and took her life! I want him dead! I understand. I'll take your case. Sometimes they came to me for help. It was my job to serve true justice to these animals. Ah! Shut up! This is nothing compared to what you did to that poor woman. Let's just leave him like that. This was my job as a torture sommelier. We trained hard every day to improve our skill sets. Hmm, this seems pretty effective. We were always looking for new ways to torture the bad guys. It was an endless process of trial and error. I got a pretty good deal on these. Good, let's set it up. It was an important part of the job. One night on our way back to the office... Huh? There was this dark alley. Something about it felt off. I thought it was just in my head at first, but... What are you doing? There's someone here. I went inside the alley to check. Then, a few minutes later... Rukawa! Call 911! Yes, sir! It was a young woman. She was covered in blood. She had a distinct smell on her. She was raped! Hang in there! She was bleeding out pretty fast. I tried to stop her bleeding. From the looks of it, she was stabbed multiple times. Ugh! No! She was in pretty bad shape. Where's the ambulance? A few minutes later, I heard the sirens approaching. Then the woman opened her eyes. The ambulance is almost here! Hang in there! That guy... He can't get away with this. Then she handed me something. It was a police badge. What's this? Does this belong to the guy who did this to you? So a cop did this? Then the paramedics arrived. This way, come on! Let me! She was stabbed. The wound is pretty deep. Please save her! We gotta save her! We followed her to the hospital. But then... We did our best, but... Sorry. I see. It was too late. After answering some questions for the police, we ran into the victim's parents. Thank you for trying to save our daughter. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm truly sorry for your loss. Her mother was in a wheelchair. Her last name was Shimada. As you can see, my wife can't walk. Our daughter, she always took care of her. She was such a sweet girl. Their daughter had been looking after her mother ever since she was a child. Here we go. Sorry, dear. You should be out with your friends. Oh, stop it. Family comes first. When she was in high school, she even got a part-time job to support her family. Then, after college, she got a job at a really good company. Mom? Dad? This is my fiancé. Wonderful! Good for you, dear. Then, three years later, she got engaged. But then, she was brutally murdered. Come here, bitch! <laughs> Stay still or you're dead! <laughs> you're dead anyways, but... <laughs> then, the looks on their face changed. 
She violated my daughter and killed her in cold blood. She was the sweetest girl ever! I would do this to her! I want justice! They were devastated. Then they started crying. I'm sure the cops will get to the bottom of this. They better find the guy who did this. Yeah. I couldn't stand to see them like this. And the police badge. Is this thing real? If it is... So, you guys didn't do anything wrong? A man is dead because of you! Our officers did what they had to do. I wanted to trust the police, but... They had a tendency to cover for their own kind. So I took a picture of the badge and wrote down the serial number before handing over the badge to the police. The victim gave this to me right before she died. Huh? I see. I'm sure the cops will do the right thing, but just in case. This case was personal now. That guy... He can't get away with this! She looked me straight in my eyes and asked me to avenge her death. If the cops get to him first, so be it. But if not, I'm gonna have to step in. A few days later, I got a call back from my informant. I found the guy who did it. Toshimitsu Shinmura, 28. He's a wannabe elite who gave up on life. Elite? Well, not really, he's just an idiot. He lost his job a few months ago. So this guy, he sexually harassed one of his co-workers. And when she reported him and got him fired... Yo, bitch! <laughs> he killed her in cold blood. And he didn't stop there. I love watching teachers squirm like that! He killed five women in total. Did you hear about the teacher that got killed a few days ago? Yeah, but they arrested the guy who did it, right? Yeah, but he's innocent. No Shimura too. He killed another woman? Oh no. Now an innocent guy was in jail? The cops don't know about Shinmura? Of course they know. But uh, the higher-ups are trying to sweep this under the rug. I see. Pigs. Shimura's father was the chief of police. He was a very powerful man. Ah! That idiot! This gets out! My career is over! He did everything he could to protect his career. And Shimura always hired the Yakuza to get rid of the bodies. Ugh. And his father is protecting him to save his own career? What an animal. Yeah. And whenever he contacted the Yakuza, he showed his father's police badge. I guess your victim whipped it out of his shirt. The police couldn't be trusted. And they pinned it on Hirofumi Sataki. He's so unlucky. Said the informant. Satake, that's the guy that was arrested. You know him? Yeah, he's pretty famous. They call him the Undead. That's a weird name. Who is this guy? Doesn't matter. If he's innocent, I gotta help him. Can you leak the intel on Shimura to the press? The press? Alright, I'm on it. It's time to get this guy out of jail. Shinmura. His father is hiding him in his vacation home. He grounded him. He's not going anywhere for a while. Grounded? Does he even realize what his son did? If he's arrested for this, he'll get the death penalty. Like father, like son, I guess. Pigs. So we headed to their vacation home to snatch them up. I heard he hired some Yakuza's as his bodyguards. Keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. The cops couldn't be trusted anymore. It's time to take matters into my own hands. We snuck into the house. 
Demora and his father were arguing. You almost killed my career! You idiot! Shut up, asshole! Get out of my face! What did you say? I'll kill you! What are they arguing about? Whatever. All right, wrap it up. Time to die. We're gonna make you suffer. What the? But then, their bodyguard came towards me. Who are you? Get out! Nah! Kill them! Now! That's what I pay you for! Do it! He was a pretty big guy. I've seen him before. He was the next cop. But now he was a Yakuza. His name was Hakamata. Give me all your money! God! He used the steel baton to take out his victims. He was making quite a name for himself in the underworld. Tamura's dad probably had something to do with it. Breaking and entering? That's punishable by death. I don't know about that. It was him. He's the guy that was helping Shimura cover his tracks. He looked pretty strong. Rukawa, take him out. Yes, sir. With pleasure. What the? You want to die, asshole? I decided to give Rukawa a chance. Come on here! Die, bitch! Ugh. He was pretty fast, but not fast enough. He sprayed him with a lighter fluid. It was kill or be killed out there. There were no rules. Burn, baby, burn! Come here! Then he crushed his throat. Did Mora and his father try to make a run for it, but where do you think you're going? We're just getting started with you! We're gonna make you suffer! God! We took them out and threw them in the car. We brought them back to the torture chamber and tied them up to the chair. Wake up, assholes! Ouch! I sprayed them with some boiling oil to wake them up. There were sharp needles all over the chair. Where am I? Ouch! Ah, get me out! Who do you think I am? These guys make me sick. You killed an innocent woman. And you covered it up to protect your own career. So what? You don't feel any remorse? But then they said to me... For what? Huh? Screw them, I'm an elite! I could do whatever I want! I did it for the greater good! What do you mean? The people of this city! They need someone like me! I couldn't let my career go down the drain over something like this! Seriously? I couldn't believe what I was hearing. All right, I've heard enough. Let's begin. Rukawa! Yes, sir. All set. This is gonna be hot. Huh? Rukawa placed a Bunsen burner underneath their seats. Ah! Hot! 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 Stop! The chairs started burning their flesh. This torture method was invented back in medieval Spain. You animals, time to pay for your sins. Hot! The chair was made of steel. It burned the victims alive. I covered the chair with lard to make it even hotter. This is illegal! It was like sitting on a frying pan on the stove. The skin started melting. They started coughing. Help! You can kill my dad, but save me, please! He's the killer! Save me! 
they started begging me to spare them. But it was too late for that. I'm an elite. I can do whatever I want. Bird in hell, you maggot. God! They were done for. Oh, and one last thing. Nobody will ever find your body. It's for the greater good. <laughs> then, about an hour later, they were dead. After that, the guy that they tried to pin this on got released. Excuse me! Sorry. I went to check on him. He looked fine, thank goodness. Mr. Satake, right? I saw you on the news. You alright? Get some rest. You deserve it. Oh, uh, thanks. Who is he? And so the job was done. It's done. Rest in peace. This won't bring her back, but at least those two are gone now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos, and please subscribe to the channel.